Good evening from the city of Coburn, or as Google Maps says, and as I get a giggle out of it every time she does say this, and the signs say it, from the city of Cockburn. Yes, it's Bill Quinn from the city of Penis Friction. I, uh, what, what's the time? It's currently 11 minutes past 6 in the west, which means it's 11 minutes past... Yes, you are. It's also 11 minutes past 8 in the east of Australia, and you can work out the other time variations and time zones if you want. It's currently the 5th of April, Wednesday the 5th of April 2023, which means that it's about 18 years, let me work this out, 18 years and a month or so since I first went to my first National Folk Festival and a monster was born. A few months later I was emceeing my first folk festival gig and then I joined choirs. Now previous to that I joined choirs, I went on to radio shortly thereafter, I started writing for the National Folk Music magazine it just rolled on and on and on and on and on. And some of it was a bit... But that's what you get. And some of it was volunteering when I probably shouldn't have. And some of it was volunteering when I definitely should have. Where was that one? Is it that one? Yes. Holy smokes, yes. So much yes. Yes. But all, through it all, through all of it, was driven an enduring passion for independent music, for live original music. And hopefully some of you who are watching, some of you who are witnessing, witnessing, what the fuck was that? I want you to bear witness to the testimony that I have here. Oh, this is a true story. I went uh, today. I was staying in a hotel in Perth overnight. And uh, rather than come straight here to Coburn, Fremantle, Wallulup, wherever, because currently it's 13 minutes past six. So in 47 minutes' time, the doors are opening at the Frio Social and the support will be on and then Billy Bragg will be on. So I need to get motoring. I can't be talking for too long. So, uh, the smart decision would have been this morning to have a quick breakfast and get myself down here, face plant into this bed, have a good, good, long, hard sleep, and then get up and be down in Wallulup, Fremantle, way, way, way before the doors open. I don't particularly do sensible. I don't particularly do... It's three minutes and 15 seconds. Get to the point. So... Uh, through all of it, through the last 18 years and, say, half a month, has been driven an enduring passion for live original music. And hopefully some of you watching know, probably because I've told you so many times, to the point where you're going, yeah, love the energy bill. Do you want to... Uh, what is it? Do you want to take 30% off? <laughs> can, you, can, you, can you slip it back into third gear? Can you... Okay, this is the music that I've acquired in the last five, maybe six weeks. Still trying to work that one out. To every single independent musician who I've interviewed, met, been an MC for, interviewed on radio, written about, will continue to write about until they put me in a box and chuck me onto the uh, funeral pyre. I want to say thank you so much for your art, for your sharing, for you ripping the scabs off, for you ripping the band-aids off, digging deep into your existence and making the soundtrack for so many people's lives 
Lee Von Helm said in the amazing Last Waltz video, a uh, video, Last Waltz film that Martin Scorsese made in 1976. Lee Von Helm said this. He says some of the greatest healers, the people doing the most brilliant healing. I'm paraphrasing here, as you might guess, are the uh, 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 are the musicians, the the the, the dancers, the, the songwriters, the singers. The ones on Tin Pan Alley, the ones on 42nd Street, the down at the Midnight Ramble. I, I'm definitely paraphrasing here, but I wish to, I could find a clip of it. And I, I've ha owned so many versions of The Last Waltz, and they're still doing it. They're doing updated versions of The Last Waltz with new musicians, because there's only Robbie Robertson still out there. All the rest have gone to, you know, pine boxes and funeral pies and such. Thank you so much. And finally, because I do need to get to Frio Social and I do want to watch Billy Bragg tonight, hopefully in one piece, and hopefully, unlike so many gigs that I've been to in the last three or four, you know, let's say the last two or three months, I haven't actually stayed awake for the whole thing. Shh. Um, finally, to Jenny M. Thomas, to Bush Gothic, I so wanted to be there the other night. And if I had have been sit, sat in the front row, this is the tapestry that I would have been doing my subversive, not cross stitch. Well, I, probably me knowing me, I would have been crossing some stitches. That's what I would have been doing in the front row at the CNC Neighbourhood Hall, I think, I believe, on possibly Saturday night. Sorry I couldn't be there. And I never did hear you do Maggie May, which just means I need to track you down somewhere in the country in the next little while. From the city of Cockburn, the city of Friction Penis, the city of Coburn, very close to South Fremantle, very close to Wallulup, on Wajuk Noongar Budja, and I do pay respect to the elders of these lands, the traditional custodians, past, present, future and emerging. It's Bill Quinn saying... I'll see you if I'm looking at you, but bye for now.